dear students today's topic is laws of exponent and power the laws of exponent are very useful in numbers involving exponents to do the operation of multiplication and division let's recall what are exponents here 5 is the base and 3 is the exponent so 5 raised to the power 3 is an in, is an exponential form of the number 125 5 upon 3 means 3 factors of 5 or we can say that 5 multiply 5 multiply 5 the exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication example 8 raised to the power 2 Here eight is multiplying two times. That is eight is a sixty-four. So eight raised to the power two could be called eight to the second power, or you can say that eight to the power two, or simply eight squared. So an exponent saves us writing out lots of multiplies. For example, a raised to the power seven. So here we are writing a seven times a multiply a multiply a multiply a multiply a multiply a multiply. So we are writing seven times a. Notice how we write the letters together to mean multiply. We will do that a lot here. What are the keys to the laws? Writing all the letters down is the key to understanding the laws. For example, x raised to the power two. And x raised to the power three means two times x and two times again three times x. So it will be three times uh, five times x. So but more later. So when we are in doubt, just remember to write down all the letters as many as the exponent tells you to do, and see if you can make sense of it. What you need. All you need to know the laws of exponent are also called the rules of exponent, which comes from these two ideas. First, the exponent says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. Second, a negative exponent means divide, because the opposite of multiplying is dividing. If you understand those, then you understand the. Exponents as well, and all the laws below are based on those two ideas. So let's see. There are five parts of laws of exponents. First is multiplying. Second is dividing. Third is power to a power. Fourth is zero power, and fifth is negative exponent. Let's learn it one by one. First is multiplying exponents. What does that mean? What law or rule can you come up for, with for what happens when you multiply the exponent? That means multiplying exponent law. If you are multiplying the exponent with the same base, remember same base. Keep the base and add all the exponents. For example, x raised to the power m multiplied x raised to the power n. Here you can see there is a multiplication sign in between, so the formula will become x m plus n. We are adding the powers. Let's see one example. Two raised to the power six multiply two raised to the power three. Here two is the base which is same in both the numbers, so we are adding the powers. Six plus three, two raised to the power six plus three, that is two raised to the power nine. So the answer will be five hundred twelve. The law that x raised to the power m x raised to the power n is equal to x m plus n. So it means how many times do we add by multiplying x m times then by another number m times for a total of m plus n times. Yes. For example, x squared x cube is equal to X is to the power five. Why? Because here we are adding two plus three. 
and the base is same x. Next law we are going to learn is dividing exponent. What law or rule can you come up with for what happens when you divide the exponent? Yes, dividing exponent law. When dividing the exponent with the same base, keep the base and subtract the of exponent. Earlier in multiplying, we have add the exponent. Now, in division sign, we are going to subtract the exponent. x raised to the power m upon x raised to the power n is equal to x m minus n. Because here, the division sign is in between and the base is same. Let's see one example. 2 raised to the power 6 is divided by 2 raised to the power 2. Here, base is same, that is 2, and the division sign is in between. So, we are going to subtract the numbers. Power 2, 6 minus 2, that is 2 raised to the power 4. So, when we multiply 2 4 times, we will get the answer as 16. So, the law that m x raised to the power m when divided by x raised to the power m is equal to x m minus n. Like the previous example, how many times do we end up with multiplying? Here also, we are reducing that by n times because we are dividing here. Total of m minus n times. Let's see one example. x raised to the power 4 when divided by x raised to the power 2. Here the division sign is, between, is in between and the base is same. So we are going to subtract the power. x 4 minus 2. That is x raised to the power 2. Let's see the third law, that is power to a power. What law or rule can you come up with for what happens when you raise a power to a power? See, how to expand power of a power? The example is given here, 2 raised to the power 3 and out of the bracket it is given 4. So, 2 raised to the power 3, we are writing 4 times, multiplying 4. See, we are multiplying 4. So, here we are going to add 3, 4 times, that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that is 12. Or, this is called the add rule for multiplication. Now, the fourth law is zero law of exponent. Any base powered by zero exponent is equal to 1. That means, any number whose power is zero is, is equal to 1. Let's see the example. 5 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. Yes. Any variable also you can think. That is a. a raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. And we are if we are taking constant as well as variable together and both are having the raised to the power 0, then also it will be 1. So the 0 exponent for any non-zero number a, it will, it will be equal to 1. That is, a raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 or 7 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So, this law can show you why x raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. Here you can see one more example. x raised to the power 2 when divided by x raised to the power 2. Here also, I am subtracting the powers because according to law 2, we are dividing the powers if the base are same. So, x2 minus 2. Again, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, x raised to the power 0 will be the answer. And according to rule 4, any number whose power is 0 will be equal to 1. Last, fifth law. That is, powers with negative exponent. Any number whose power is negative, how we can convert into positive or positive exponent into negative a raised to the power minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to the power m. Yes, if the base is powered by the negative exponent, then the base becomes reciprocal with positive exponent. x raised to the power minus m will become positive when you will write 1 upon x raised to the power m. For example, 5 raised to the power minus 3 is given. So, when we we'll convert 1 upon 5 raised to the power 3, it will become positive. And then we can convert the value also, that is 1 upon 125. Let's see 
one more example. One upon p raised to the power minus two. Now we are going to do opposite of the same. P raised to the power two. Then we'll remove one from there. That means it will be the nine. Let's see one more example of exponent, negative exponent. X raised to the power minus three is equal to one upon x raised to the power three. Here the negative exponent is in the numerator. To make it positive, I flipped it to the denominator. Let's see one more example. Five raised to the power minus two is a negative exponent, and when we are converting into positive, I will write one upon five raised to the power two. That is one upon twenty-five. Let's recall all the laws. Laws of exponent. First law was a raised to the power m multiplied a raised to the power n is equal to a n plus n. A raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n. Is equal to a m minus n. This is second law. A raised to the power m in after bracket is written n. That is power to a power. That is a m n. Now next one is a raised to the power m into b raised to the power m. Here the base are different, so we will write a b raised to the power m. Next a raised to the power m divided by b raised to the power m. That is a upon b m. And the zero exponent is a raised to the power zero is equal to one. These all are the laws of exponents. Thank you.